Good evening. Good evening, Marlon. Good evening, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. How is everything in your life? Mm, everything is good. I hope that. Do you work? Do you work during the day? Yes. What time do you get? In the home? morning. Ah, you work in the morning. Uh, yes. But my my chief ends uh two thirty PM. Mm -hmm. And you have lunch until that time? Mm, yes, around 12, 12 o'clock. Good evening, Evelyn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. If you want to keep the camera off for some couple of minutes, you can do it. Only a couple of minutes. <laughs> Good evening. Good, good evening, Rosalie and Susana. How are you today? How are you today, Susana? Are you good? Are you better than yesterday? Good evening, teacher. Uh, yes, I am so so. <laughs> Hey, Anna, Anna told me about your condition. Yes, uh, yesterday I have a problems with my pressure. Uh -huh. Blood, pressure. My... Blood pressure. Yeah. Blood pressure and my... No sé cómo se dice en niveles de glucosa. Entonces me tuvieron uh -huh. por ahí tuve que, que estar un rato allí en el seguro, me tuvieron ahí con medicamentos endovenosos y pues me han dejado reposo, pero estoy mejor gracias a Dios. Mm -hmm. Eso parece sencillo, pero es, puede ser peligroso. Y es complicado. Mm -hmm. Ok, everybody, let's begin. In this moment, I have seven students. Okay, today we continue with the topic that we started yesterday. So it's like a review and practice. Okay. 
Okay, what was the topic? Have to and need to. And so today we are going to continue and practice, more practice. Okay, unit number two, I'm going on activities at the workplace and the objective is use have to and need to, you know to what. Okay, so we are going to do um, a review. Okay, yesterday we studied this. Yesterday we studied this. We said that we use have to for obligation and we don't have any option when it's an obligation, right? And this is the structure, right? You use a subject have to or has to infinitive form of the verb and complement. You say, I have to play basketball in this campus. He has to phone his wife every day. And you see, you use in the third person singular form, you use has, okay, has to. So you use have to in I, you, we, you, they. In has to, she, he, and it. Okay, and we said yesterday that the negative of have to is different from the affirmative. The negative has another meaning, is another context. Because you are not saying that something is not an obligation, you are saying that something is not necessary. But, and the structure is don't, doesn't, plus have to, plus base form of the verb. That is the same, right? I say infinity, but it's the same. same. Base form is the same. You can say base form, you can say infinity. Um, examples, you don't have to come to school on Sundays. Okay, here in the first example of the affirmative, you say, I have to play basketball in the campus. Yo tengo que, right? Yo tengo que jugar basketball in this campus, in el campo, sorry. But here, you don't have to come to school on Sundays. Tú no tienes que. Tú no tienes que. Or in other words, no es necesario que vengas a la escuela los domingos. Okay, no es necesario que vengas. Okay, so that is the difference between affirmative and negative. You say you don't have to. We don't have to, she doesn't have to, they don't have to, he doesn't have to, you didn't, well, this is in the past and I want to say it, we don't have to. Okay, yesterday we had some practice and I noticed that you did it very well. But I am explaining again because I need that this is excellent. Okay, yes, no question. In the yes, no question. Okay, first you begin with the auxiliary do or does, according to the subject. You use do with I, you, we, and they, and you use does with he, she, and it. Okay, you say, uh, do I have to write reports? Do you have to write reports? Do we have to write reports? Do they have to write reports? Does he have to write reports? Does she have to write reports? Does it have to write reports? Impossible answers. You can say, yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. No, I don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. Or yes, she does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, she doesn't, no, he doesn't, no, he doesn't. Okay, after explaining this, okay, remember yesterday I sent you in the WhatsApp 
um, video about the you should have two. So we didn't see it yesterday, but today we are going to do it. Can you please, let me see, where are you here? Can you please enter, can you please enter in the video that I sent you yesterday? Uh -huh. Yo les envié dos, ¿verdad? En el que se ve ahí que dice have to, have to. Que más después hay un, solo un enlace. Ese no, ese por el momento no. Ok. Eh, we are going to see this. Solo vamos a ver ese que dice have to en este momento. Ok, do it please. Piche, perdón, ¿a dónde está el video? Lo envió ayer. Yes, yes, Erdín. Ok. Es uno ya que tiene escuché. un cuadrito donde dice have to. How to go how. Que a mí no me aparece tan. Ah, yo ya, ya lo encontré. Gracias. Uh -huh. Have to for obligation. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Sorry, Patrick. Usted es la que me está pidiendo que reenvíe el video. Es correcto, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Delita, you are delita in the, in the profile.
se le recuerda que Insafor nos solicita que, el, que ustedes eh, tengan la cámara encendida en las clases. Ok. Agradezco mucho a quienes eh, siguen la, las normas de Insafor, ¿verdad? Porque eso es lo que ellos nos solicitan a nosotros que les recordemos todos los días. Okay, ok, teacher. Yo me acabo de conectar hace unos minutitos. Este, ¿Podría decirme qué estamos haciendo, por favor? <risa> Solo bueno. creo que estamos viendo un video. No sé, deja yes. todo ahí lo, lo vi. Sí, el de que les coloqué ayer. Es que ayer no lo escuchamos, no lo, no lo consideramos, mejor dicho. Y como repaso lo estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Porque yo me imagino que lo vieron, me imagino. Pero como el tema de hoy es repaso y práctica. Ok. Ok. Entonces vamos a verlo y vamos a escribir algo. No, solo véalo. Luego vamos okay. a, va, van a entrar a otra actividad. Ok. Thank you. that you did it okay you finished okay now we are going to have uh, i want to send you another link but this is a quiz a quiz about have to okay do it please
Okay, I guess that you finish. Is correct? Oh no. No. Okay. No teacher. Finish this. Finish, teacher. Because we have two days with this topic, you are going to become experts. I guess. Okay, so continue with the review. Remember, this is a review and we are going to have more practice today. Um, wait a minute, please, here. Okay, how you use? Need to. You use need to to express necessity. When you use need to, it's because you, you have something that you need. Okay, look at the examples. I need to stop. You need to stop. She, he, it needs to stop. We need to stop. You need to stop. They need to stop. Okay, as you see, in the... Third person singular form, you have needs. As we learned how you change the verb here, right? Now, negative. I don't need to stop. You don't need to stop. He, she, it doesn't need to stop. We don't need to stop. You don't need to stop. They don't need to stop. And as you see here, only with the third person, he, she, and it, you have doesn't. Only with them, right? And yes, no question. Do I need to stop? Do you need to stop? Does he, she, it need to stop? Do we need to stop? You, do you need to stop? Do they need to stop? Okay, in the same, right? In the yes, no question, the auxiliary does, okay? You know that do is an auxiliary and here does is an auxiliary too, but you use only does, <clears throat> That's with he, she, and it. Yesterday you said, <clears throat> you look here for the answer, right? I remember, but the answers I guess are the same. You say, yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, they do. Yes, she does. Yes, she, uh, he does. Yes, it does. In the negative, no, I don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. In the third person, no, she doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, the answer is the same for the use of have to and need to in the yes, no question. It's the same. Okay, now we have one practice here that is not in the, we are not gonna see a video. Only you have to complete. Okay, uh, here we have this, but I didn't send you because I need that you do it individually here in the class. Um, Verdad que en el video no sale una cajita que es donde, donde se está compartiendo y todo eso. No, teacher.
Are you ready? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let us complete together. Okay, in the number one, you have she. According to the picture, what do you say? She needs to use the lift or she doesn't need to use the lift. She needs to. She needs to use the lift. Mm -hmm. And then number two. They need to. They need. They, they need, need. They need to. Yes. Everybody agree? Every, everybody agree or disagree? Okay. Mm. When I say agree, I mean, están de acuerdo? Agree. Everybody agree? Or disagree? No están de acuerdo, right? I'm disagree. You disagree. Why do you disagree, Guillermo? Mm, I see that, that they they don't have to, they don't want to, to buy a ticket. They don't want or they don't need to? They don't need to. They don't need to. to. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. They is already there. Don't need to. Agree or disagree? Yes. Are you agree? <laughs> okay, number three. What is it? I don't type, I don't need to type my password or I need to type I need, my password. I need to type my password. I need to. I need to type. Okay, number four, he doesn't need to run or he needs to run? He needs to run. To run. He needs to run. Because he, he, he doesn't need the train leaves him. Okay, number five, they don't need to sit down or they need to sit down? They need to sit down. Okay, number six. He doesn't need to see you the stairs or he needs to use the stairs. He needs to use the stairs. Okay, but is he using it? He, is he using the stars in the picture? He, he doesn't. He doesn't need to. Yo escribí he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He doesn't need to. Mm -hmm. Because he, according to the picture, no, right? Because he's using the stars. Okay, now the number, the part number three it can be different, right? I'm going to take four students. 
Okay, I'm going to select Ana Cristina. Can you help me with the number one? My. Um, I need to have a drink. To have a dream. A dream. This way. Drink. One? Drink. Drink. <laughs> 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 but not a beer. <laughs> ah, no, hasta mañana. <laughs> <laughs> Solo después de la clase. Sí, 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 sí. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need to have a drink like a orange juice, Coca-Cola. Okay, Rosalie, tell me another. Um, I. I don't need to eat my lunch. Because in reality, you you need to eat your dinner right yes. now. <laughs> Te la hora del you are starving. Okay. okay, another can be, tell me. What do you have, Doris? Fatima Fabiola? Me teacher. <laughs> Sarah. I, I don't need to uh, use a calculator. Because your brain is enough, right? You are a calculator. Calculator. Do you know what I mean? You are the calculator. <laughs> you don't need to use it because you are the calculator. Okay, I want to continue calling people who, who I suppose is here and I need to participate. Marisa? Yes. I need I need to sleep. But later, please. <laughs> this moment, me no. Teacher, <laughs> yes. <laughs> me too. I need to sleep. But no, at this moment. At ten o'clock. Yes, at ten o'clock. Y mañana hace la tarea. <laughs> you do the homework tomorrow. Okay, guys. Yeah, I see that you did it very well. Okay. Oh, well, now. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay. Yes, as I told you, this is a review. Okay, un repaso. It's a review. And yesterday I presented the same slide. Okay, the difference between have to and need to is that have to expresses expresses obligation and there is no option to do something else. For example, you say I have to work today. It's an obligation, you don't have option. Need to express necessity and you have the option to do or not to do it. We need to do something for something else to happen. For example, you have, I need to work today. Necessity, you have an, you have an option. Okay, le ponía el ejemplo yo ayer, como eso bien, bien contextual. No hay una forma que usted adivine, ay, hoy voy a decir have to, o voy a decir need to, no, ¿verdad? Que según usted lo que quiere expresar en el momento. O sea, eso es bien contextual. Entonces, pero les ponía yo el ejemplo de alguien que iba a trabajar porque todos los días, porque tiene que hacerlo. Y alguien que trabaja, pero en ese día tiene permiso por alguna razón, porque está enfermo, porque 
le cayó bien al jefe o algo así. ¿no? <ríe> Entonces, pero como necesita ir a trabajar por alguna razón, o sea, quizás porque quiere ganar más dinero, no sé. Entonces ahí dice, I need to work today, pero es una necesidad. Usted tiene la opción de no ir. Ok, al menos en ese contexto. Ok. Now let's finish this. Finish the presentation. And now we are going to go with the manual. Okay, yesterday I presented the vocabulary related to this conversation, right? Now I'm going to read, and then you are going to complete this, this activity, or this, right? How to use have to and need to. Verbs to express obligation or needs. What are the verbs that express obligations or needs? The verbs. Okay, have to, need to. Activities, prepare a document for my boss. According to the conversation, right? This is according to the conversation. Okay, let's read. Uh, I'm going to be Anne and you are going to be John, Guillermo. Okay, teacher. Begin. Anne. Um. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients in you. Well, uh, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They, they were canceled uh, today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, guys, according to what we listen and we read in the conversation, complete the exercise, please. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. This. <laughs> Ok, me imagino que todos tienen el manual impreso, que voy a dejar de compartir en este momento porque voy a buscar otra cosa, ok. Do the exercise.
Okay, I guess you finish. Okay, what verbs do we use to express obligation or needs? Have to, I need to. Yes, have to, I need to. The verbs, okay, you, you have have to and need to in the conversation. What sentence do you have using have to? Um, you have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. You need to? We need to, uh, I need to call some clients. I have no there because we have to. And I have to provide important information to some customers. Okay, that is with have to. Okay, with have to, you have you. I have to reschedule and I have to provide. And with need to, you have I need to do. And I need to call right. That is what you have. Now let's practice the conversation, guys. I need that you are experts today with this. Okay, everybody repeat. Um, 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 is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there something you need, is there something to, do tomorrow? You need to do tomorrow? Yes. <clears throat> yes. 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 Actually, I need to call some clients. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? And, and you. you? Well, 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 I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. They were canceled they were today. today. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Oh, that, that's, oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information for some customers. Yes, yes, I, yes. Have I have to provide important information to some customers. Customers. Okay, that sounds interesting. That sounds, that sounds interesting. 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 Okay, guys, let's go to the recovery rooms. Eight people. Seven. Tres allá. Tres con la ticha. <laughs> no. Yes, I'm yeah, here to see if Patrick Beatriz is there, but she's here. Okay. information to some customers that sounds interesting okay Ahí vamos. Ya comienzo. Sí.
teacher, I have a question. Yes, what is it? Uh, we only have to practice the conversation. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. No change, no change, right? Right. Okay. And is there something you, you need to do tomorrow? Yes, Sally. I need to call some client, client and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceling today. Oh, thank you, Val. Yes. I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. Hoy si quiere dele otra vez. Empieza usted. Okay. Well, um, I need Hello, everybody. Hello. How do you feel about the conversation? <laughs> okay, I want to pass the attendance. Can you please say present? Adi? Present, teacher. Ana Cristina? Present. Claudia Marcela? Present. Doris? Present. Evelyn? Present. Fatima? Fatima. Present. Where is Fatima? Hello. Present. Ah, yes, there is. Graciela? Present. Present. Gigi? Present teacher. Isamar. Y no, ya no voy a llamar a una, dos personas por ahí solo. Okay. Um, Katy. Present teacher. Marisa. Present. Marlon. Present. 
Marvin. No, all right. Marvin is not here. Patrick. Patrick, eh, ¿cómo le gusta que le llamen? Patrick o Beatriz? Patrick, porque es como el nombre que todo el mundo me llama. Ok. Eh, Raquel. Present. La verdad es que a nadie le he preguntado. Casi siempre le digo el primer nombre. Okay, Rosalie. Present teacher. Sara. Present teacher. Eh, Susana. Present teacher. Okay, ya le digo Susan de vez en cuando. Okay, guys, now the it's your turn to write about you. More about you and present about you. In the manual, there is um, one exercise that you have to write, okay, here, write about something you have to or need to these days. And here you have when, what time, and where. It doesn't mean that you are going to answer that uh, those questions. You are going to do it this way. Look. Okay, you are going to do it this way. This is the same exercise. Example, example. I have to go, okay, when you say when, or what time, or where, so you say, I have to go shopping to Plaza Mundo. Okay, when I say to Plaza Mundo, is where. This Saturday means when. Or you can say, no, this Saturday, you can mention the time. What time? I have to go to Plaza Mundo at 10 p.m. Okay, do you see how I did that? Okay, only five activities. Only five activities. You can say, have to or need to. Okay, do it. Recuerden que siempre si tienen dudas me pueden preguntar, ¿ok? No, no tienen que tener pena de preguntar. Okay. Yes. Can you use eh, cualquier persona de I, G, U. No, es de usted. Ok. Es Gracias. de usted. Luego me lo van a decir, las cinco oraciones me las van a leer todos, ¿ok? Así que tiene que estar preparado, Patrick. Preparado. Ok. Ok. Teacher, five sentences. Yes, five. Sentences or activities. Sentences because you say, I have to go shopping to Plaza Mundo this Saturday. Ok. okay. Remember that you have to include where in the information and when. You have to say where and when.
Marvin, are you here? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, is Carla, is Carla Janet? Carla Janet, are you in the class? Okay, Kathy. Kathy, you are going yes, to you stay the 10 minutes today. Okay, Peter. Ready, everybody? Are you ready? Yes. I hope. Okay, remember that you are going to read your sentences in the class. So be ready. I'm going to stop the sharing. Fatima Fabiola. Hello. ¿Fue alguna fiesta? Hello, teacher. ¿Fue alguna fiesta hoy? ¿Le veo el pelo diferente? No, teacher. Ajá. No, así mi cabello. Ah, es que otra vez creo que quizás lo tenía en cola. Sí, generalmente. Ok, everybody. Bueno, de acuerdo a como yo tengo aquí, tengo algunos que me tienen, los tengo de oyentes. Vamos a ver quiénes son. Vamos a ver. Adi me está de oyente. Que me avisó, ¿verdad? Y allí, Marlon, usted sí está participando, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Aquí estoy. Okay. En Carla no me conté. Susan. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ok. ¿Ya todos están listos? Ready, ready? Yes. Lo puede llamar por donde listo. Okay. okay. First is Anna. Okay, begin, Anna. Yes, teacher. Read, read, read your sentences. Okay. La cinco. Solo uno. No, the five. The five. Okay. Okay. Sentence number one. I need to rest on the week. <laughs> on the weekend? Number... On the weekend or on the week? On the weekend. Okay. 
Number two, I have two great sons tomorrow Friday. Friday. Number it's three. Every day we have two great activities. No, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Number three, I have to go to the doctor appointment on Monday at three o'clock. I need to talk my with my no. I need to talk with my students on Thursday during break because they behave badly. Se portaron mal, va. <laughs> Tengo un parcio por ahí. <laughs> uh, I know how is that is okay. <laughs> yes, and the number five. I have to do my geography project to give it to my boss. Very good examples, Anna. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. Next, Next is Claudia. Okay, and then number one, I have to go work Saturday in the afternoon and number two i need to go to buy a cake tomorrow is it your and birthday no it's a friend birthday ah. my birthday was the 21st of march hey it was my daughter's birthday <laughs> It was my yes. birthday, 21st, exactly the same day. <laughs> and the number three, I have to uh, have to do a report report tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. And the number four, I need to prepare my lunch for the next week. And I have got to dinner out with my son. When do you have to <clears throat> go on out? Saturday? Sorry. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Mm -hmm. Next is Doris. Ah, but Doris, in, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. See. okay. <clears throat> the number one, I have to go the doctor the next week and number two i need to travel on vacation and which vacation three, and when is going to be the um, semana santa no sé cómo se dice and on easter or holy week Hold the week, okay. The number three, I need to do exercise every day. I have to go to the supermarket in the weekend. And the number five, I need to air to eat more health. Healthy. Healthy. In the time. Okay. Um, every day. Uh-huh, every day. I was thinking, she has to say every day <laughs> because you need to do it healthy, but every day, yeah. not only one day, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Doris. Continue, Evelyn. Okay, uh, I need to... Need to spell a lot this Saturday. On Friday, I do shopping at the supermarket. In the number two, I don't listen if you use have to or need to, Evelyn. Uh, I go shopping at the. Uh, dije el viernes me voy de compras al super al super. Yeah, but remember that we are using need to or have to. 
Um, I need to. Okay, repeat the sentence. On Friday, I need to shop in the supermarket. Supermarket. You say I need to go shopping. I need to go shopping. Okay, I need to go shopping. Continue. Uh, sería el four. No, no. Eh, sería three, three. Monday, I I go to the gym very early. You need to go to the uh, gym. Yes. That is with need to. Because you have an option. Ah, okay. <laughs> you say I need to go to the gym early. I need to, okay. Monday, sería, entonces sería Monday, I need to the gym very early. Okay. <laughs> Remember, Evelyn, when you say need to, or have to, immediately you need a verb. I need to go, I need to do, I need to have, I need to walk, okay? Okay. Tuesday, I need to review product at work. Number five, on Wednesday, I need to maintainer maintenance. Finish. Okay, the last one, I understood that you need to do something with the, the machinery, but Mantenimiento de the maquinaria. To do the maintenance. Maintaining. You need to mm -hmm. do the maintenance of your yeah. of the machinery. Okay. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, for the rest, I would appreciate you do it faster, right? Fast. Do it faster. And next is Fatima. The first sentences is I have got to the supermarket tomorrow Friday. I need to go to the bank in the morning. I have paid the bill tomorrow. I need buy a new cell phone next week. I have visited my family this Sunday and I need to sleep well this weekend. I don't know if you read it or is it that way, but in some you say only have. <laughs> Review, please. No. I need to sleep well this weekend. No, they, en lo que usted, en lo que usted have to, no sé si omitió el to o así lo tiene en realidad. No, I have got to the Ajá, supermarket. Ahí, sí, ahí está. Have I, to. Have, yes. to, have to go. Have to, have to go. go. Have to go. Mm -hmm. Correct okay. that, please. Thank you, Fatima. Okay. Next is Graciela. Okay. First one, I have to go to the mall this Sunday morning. Two, I need to buy groceries this Sunday in the mall. I have to sleep very well this weekend in my mom's house. Four, I need to wash my clothes in the washing machine this Saturday. And finally, I have to do my English homework tomorrow. I feel happy you are finally you are going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Continue, Guillermo. You. Okay, teacher. Um, I have to wash my car 
in my house in my house tomorrow and um, i have to go to eat tacos uh tacos hermanos this saturday but don't say i have to go to eat tacos because it's not an obligation okay. <laughs> <laughs> um I have to answer uh, some emails in my work this week. I have to visit my mother at her house this weekend. And I have to play soccer at Gambetta this Friday. Lucky you that you are going to eat tacos at Tacos Hermanos. The people say that they are delicious. Uh, here in Paseo Venecia, we have one. Okay, thank you, Guille. And now is Katy. Okay. I have to buy groceries in the Saturday uh, in the night in the supermarket. Um I need to buy some red shoes. <laughs> I have to file the documents tomorrow for free time. Printing in the morning at work. I need to deliver the document tomorrow after afternoon. I have to go to work tomorrow at 7 a.m. Thank you, Kathy. Continue, Marixa. Number one, I need to get up early tomorrow. Number two, I have to go to work every day. Number three, I need to drink coffee in the morning. Number four, I have to clean my room on the weekend. Number five, I have to iron on Saturday, on Sunday. Ah, okay, on Sunday. ¿Verdad, Marisa, que ya está mejorando bastante su fluidez? Ya siento que sí. está mejorando su fluidez. Ok. He mejorado. Yes. Ok, continue, Marlon. Ok. Um, I need to play soccer in the park tomorrow. I have to work in house weekend. I need to study online every day in the world. I have to go visit a dormitory the next week. I have to travel the next year in holidays. Okay, you need to study more but English. <laughs> of course, okay. You are good, you are good, but uh, more you practice, better you are. Thank you. Okay, Marvin. Teacher, eh, yo lo hice, pero no sé si también porque ya había explicado, pero hice al okay. intento. Okay, let's try, let's try. I had to practice English every day. I had to learn to cook on weekend. I need to to do exercise the three times a day, a day. I need to go camping on vacation. I have to do clean my house the weekend. You say I have to do the cleaning or I have cleaning. to clean the house. Do the cleaning or clean? Okay. Possible, two possible answers. Uh, of things. Okay. Uh, Patrick, our new student, va a ser su, su primera eh, intervención. Okay, Patrick. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, number one. I have to go to the doctor next Monday. Number two. I need to go oh. to the gym for my health every afternoon. Number three, I have to take to take out the trash every day in the morning. Number four, I need to go to the beach 
on the weekend and relax. Ah, the last Number one five. is good. Ah, no, it's not the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Number five, I have to buy a USB flash drive on Saturday. Okay, you are very busy, Patrick. Okay, Raquel. I have to go work. Pardon. I have to go work tomorrow at eight a.m. I have to wait way up early every day. I don't have to leave Saturday afternoon. I have to answer answer email always. I have to use computer computer at a.m. Okay, uh, Raquel, only in one that in which you use always. Okay, you use always. Remember that we don't use always at the end. So in that sentence, where do you have to use always? Repeat the sentence and help me please say the rest. Escuchen el ejemplo todos y me ayudan a... a a ver a dónde es que ella tiene que poner always. Okay. Read it again, Raquel. I have to answer email always. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sonaría mejor esa oración? Aquí tienes un resultado I have del... to... I have to always email answer. No. No, ahí sería, porque fíjense de que lo explicamos cuando no estábamos con have to, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí tendría I always have to. Yes. Ahí sí tendría que ser en medio del I, como okay. siempre, ¿verdad? Y el de have to. Mm -hmm. I always have to eh, work. I always have to Do, ya no me recuerdo cuál era el complemento, pero hay por ahí va. Ok. Only that, Raquel. Ok. ¿Es Rosalí? Number one. I have to go to the kindergarten for my son at six o'clock every day. I need to buy a dress in the mall this Friday. I have to get to work at at thirty seven every day. I need to meet my friend this this Saturday. I need to run in the park in the afternoon. Do you have a baby, Rosalie? Do you have a baby? Yes. Yes. Ah, está llorando, vaya a verlo. Okay. Dice que va a despertar, sí. Ok, go. Sara, finally, Sara. Ok, dicho. Number three. I have to go to, to the park this Sunday at 3 p.m. I have to go to bed every day at 10.30 p.m. At 30, at 10 .30 p.m. I have to take the bus every day and at 6 a.m. I have to clean my house. I have to get up every day at 5 a.m. So, so. <laughs> Thank you, Sara. Okay, Susan. <laughs> Number one, I have to go doctor this Monday. Number two, I need to do exercise three times a week. Uh, number three, I have to go meeting every Wednesday. Number four, I have to go Sertrasen this month. Number five, I need to go to the beach this weekend. Good pronunciation, Susan. 
I didn't know that Thank you. you have good pronunciation. Okay, let's go quickly with the last activity that is in the manual. The manual. Okay, uh, it's about your classmates, okay? It's almost the same, but you have your activities, okay? But some of the activities that you mentioned are personal and some are at your work. Okay, to do this faster because we have only 15 minutes. So you have to interview two classmates and write the activity they have to do or need to do. But it's about your job, right? It's about your job. And let me see. Only write three, three activities, each one. Write three activities, only five minutes. Do it quickly, please. Because I need you to uh, do it faster. Do it, three activities about your job. Only your job. Si ya hicieron algunas de, de las de ejemplos, pueden usar esas mismas. Reciclen. Las que ya tienen relacionadas a su trabajo.
Okay, I don't know if you are ready, but ready or no, you are going to go to the breakout rooms. And because you are going to inter interview three, uh, two classmates, you are going to write six sentences. But remember that the sentences are in the third person. If you say have to, you have to write has to. And need to, needs to. Okay, remember that. O cosas así. Pero, por ejemplo, la mía, eh, I have to check my email every, every morning. Every morning. Ah, ya. Ya. Y, ajá, yo sí las he hecho. Ah, vale. Bueno. Yo le voy a poner, I have to review documents every day. Uh -huh. No está participando aquí Carla Janet. No, ah, no, la no, llamamos, no, pero. Ya, pero pues ustedes ahora le va a quedar de tres. Entonces. Okay. ok, teacher. A mis clases. Entonces, o sea, es I have to do the planning for my classes. Okay. Marlon, you look tired today. You look tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> en español, teacher, ya estoy más dormido. Eh, eso es lo que le estoy diciendo, que se mira bien cansado. Ah, okay. sí, ya, ya estoy. Ya. Y que le toca trabajar bastante, algo tardecito, o levantarse eh, temprano. Lo que pasa es que se despierta desde las 4 de la mañana. Mm, usted quizás como que trabaja en algo como un call center, algo así, no. 
No, pero eh, algunas actividades con mi hermanito, que él va a la escuela, entonces tengo que levantarme a preparar el desayuno, a preparar el almuerzo, para llevar a mi trabajo, prepararlo a él. Eh, entonces yo tengo que levantarme temprano porque no salva tiempo. Tengo que llevarlo a la escuela también. Uy, buen, buen eh, hermano, así ya casi no hay. Sí, ok, consigue, sí, Marlo, ya, ya vamos a okay. terminar, ok. Sí, Ok, eh... Ahora una, una tú, Marlo. Ok, uh, I have... Sería en este caso porque es tuyo. Uh -huh. Ok. Y number three. Uh, I need to make. Uh -huh. She need to. I need to make. M-A-K-E. Mai, de tuyo. Es... Sí, necesito hacer reuniones. Sería make, entonces. Make. 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 Uh -huh. make. M -E -T. M -E -M -A -K -E. M-E-M-A-K-E. Ajá, make, 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 hacer, hacer, make. Luego, number three. Esa es la número tres, ¿verdad? Yes, number three. Eh, sería la que le acabo de decir es la, la dos, Sara. La número tres, ahorita se la digo. I, es esta, ¿verdad? Ajá. I, I need to make. Esta es la tres, ya. General. General. Mating. Mating. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ya lo veo ya. Ya no, ya no. <laughs> okay, we are going to finish in two minutes. Por eso me finish. tengo paciencia. <laughs> finish, teacher. Finish, finish, you teacher. did it, you did it. You are good students, excellent. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. Aquí, está, aquí estamos acribillando al pobre Marmi porque como las tres somos maestros, ¿verdad? Entonces no tiene opción, teacher. <laughs> sí, de veras que aquí quedaron. Me tres, regañaron, teacher. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Además de que son tres mujeres, ¿verdad? Bien. Yeah. Pero buena onda. Somos buena onda, Tiche. Sí, o sea, así se ve, así se ve. Yo, yo pensaría que las de Padre Arrupe, cosa seria. <risa> cosa seria, porque la institución tiene su fama. Ajá. Buena fama o mala fama, Tiche. No, excelente. Es el mejor colegio de, de Soya. Awesome. Uh, where do you live, teacher? Uh, I live near uh, Paseo Venecia. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I live in Soyapango too. Mm -hmm. But I near the Unicentro. Oh, we are neighbors. Soyapango. 
I live near un centro de la Un poco tú. cerca. Yes, we are neighbors. A ver, ¿cuándo nos vamos a comer ahí el taco hermanos? Uh -huh. <risa> sí. Me dejó Qué picada ahí. Yeah. Es riquísimo, es riquísimo. Para el cumpleaños de mi hijo, fuimos para el que está aquí en la Gran Vía. Ah, sí, Me es famoso. Aquí en la Gran Vía. Uh -huh. Lo malo es que mucho se llena, mucho hay que esperar, Ticha. Terrible, sí. es que se esperamos como dos horas. Sí, sí yo veo ahí que están esperando, pero aquí en Paseo Venecia hay horas que se pone sol. Sí, ahí, eso es cierto. Ahí hay que aprovechar. Ahí hay que aprovechar porque hay horas que está sol, lo es cierto. Vale, ahí nos damos okay. cita, teacher, ahí. Sí, okay. hay, hay que citarnos. Ok, eh, I'm going to finish the class, guys. Okay, yes. in a few minutes. ¿Y a cuál taco es hermano para ir, Guille? Los que están en la Gran Vía. Ah, o sea que ustedes allí con Ana y les conviene. Dice que <ríe> sí. Ahí va ella, porque allí cerca vive. Ahí vive cerca, me estaba contando, ¿cierto? Ya nos podemos retirar, disculpe. Wait a minute, please. Ok. Tengo que hacer el cierre para todos. Ok. Ok. Everybody's here now? Yes. Ok, now you can. I can say, have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Ok. See you Only... tomorrow. See you. Goodbye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good bye, night. Bye. Only Kathy, remember. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night, yeah. Evelyn. Sí, mm -hmm. ahí está Carla y Ané, pero ella no, ella creo que no, no está oyendo. Bueno, eh. Um, ¿Qué tal, Katy? Bien, teacher. Gracias. Yo siempre a usted la veo bien así dinámica. Ajá, porque... Yo, Me cuesta la... un poquito todavía. Sí, todavía, pero... Ahí va. Eh, ajá, porque yo tengo algunos en la clase que sí se mira que... Ya, este... Bien cansaditos, va, Pero usted siempre la miro así de toque. Como dicen, de touch, de toque. Este, ¿Alguna duda que tenga de la clase de este tema? Uh, no, de este quizás no, teacher. Uh, quizás solo pedirle consejos para la pronunciación. Uh, Porque es... creo que sí es lo que un poco me cuesta. La, como la, no sé, cómo llamarlo, la vocalización. Sí, fíjese de, de las que palabras. para eso, bueno, de emergencia, ¿verdad? Porque puede tomarse su tiempo usted oyendo películas uh -huh. y así programas y tratar de usted imitar. O sea, como lo oye, así usted repetir, repetir y repetir. Así en programas de inglés, películas. Eso, pero eso sería como... Este, una práctica más así de tiempo, podemos decir. Pero inmediatamente lo que usted, yo le podría aconsejar es que lea, lo, lo, por ejemplo, lo del manual. Las conversaciones que están en el manual, todo eso, a como caiga. Como hay palabras que quizás usted no la va a, no la va a saber cómo pronunciar. Vaya, lo trata de decirlo. 
Y ahí donde usted siente que se traba, esas palabras, subrayelas y búsquelas ahí en, en internet. Hay un, solo yo, por ejemplo, le pongo ahí cómo se pronuncia eh, tal palabra y la escribe en inglés, ¿verdad? Y ahí la escucha, la escucha, ah, la okay. repite, la repite. Y ahí vuelve otra vez a lo, donde usted, de dónde sacó la palabra y la vuelve a leer. Y esa es una práctica más inmediata de lo que nosotros estamos estudiando. Ok, entonces, pero eso sí, requeriría okay. que usted lo haga, si sería mejor, antes de la clase. Si pudiera, ¿no? si tuviera tiempo. Esa es una uh -huh. eh, de la estrategia sí. inmediata. La otra es la que ya le dije. Porque fíjese de que, quiera si o no, la pronunciación es como algo que usted adquiere de oír y oír y oír. Entonces usted trata de decir las palabras tal como las escucha. Pero como usted no ha escuchado las palabras, ahí es donde no las haya como decir. Porque no, la, no está acostumbrada a escucharlas. Quiere ah, más. Ajá. Sí, y eso sí. quiere más tiempo. Quiere más práctica. Pero el inglés así es. Y sé que hay gente que dice, ay, ¿cómo cuesta el inglés? Yo le digo, no es que cueste, es que quiere práctica. Quiere estar en eso. Dándole, dándole a eso. Eso es lo que yo le puedo sí. aconsejar en el listening en la, para que usted pueda pronunciar mejor. Escuche y trate de imitar el sonido tal como lo escuchó. Ajá, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? La, Gracias. Bien, la eh, no tenido problemas. Eh, no, no he tenido ningún problema hasta el momento. Y por ahorita luego de las clases en realidad me está quedando súper más claro que el, 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 el módulo anterior porque el módulo anterior sí me costaba como entender un poquito más pero ahorita sí, a usted prácticamente ya. le entiendo ajá, pero... ajá ya, ya va mejorando ¿verdad? como eso es nivel tras nivel ya cuando vaya en sí. va, ya va a ser bilingüe <risa> sí. primero dice sí. y sí, sí, que este es por... Estos cursos son para el trabajo, ¿verdad? Y son virtuales, no hay... Pero si usted lo hace a conciencia, yo le aseguro que usted va a aprender. Ajá, porque es sí, aquí está. personal. Uh -huh. Digan. Sí. Sí, le digo que aquí estaba que ya iba a retirar y echar la toalla así porque dije yo, no, oh, muy difícil, porque el primero me costó bastante. Pero... Ese, como Ivonne es mi compañera de trabajo, me dijo, ese, Rosalí Ivonne me dijo, no, Katy, échale ganas, sigamos, ahí estamos las dos y yo. Entonces, por ella todavía sigo aquí. Vaya, que me dio yo, los ánimos, pero. Ah, vaya, que vamos yo a las considero buenas, fíjense. Y sinceramente, yo las considero buenas y de las me mejores estudiantes del grupo. Sí. Eh, me ah, extraña ya, que sí, se sí, haya sí. pasado por ese proceso, fíjense, yo creí que era de. A mí siempre había sido así, de las mejores. Porque todo lo va haciendo bien, todo. Pues... Igual que Ivonne, Ivonne es buena. Así la considero yo, o sea, no, porque una cosa es que alguien ya pueda antes y otra cosa es que usted vaya aprendiendo en el proceso. Porque no todos, fíjese uh -huh. de que no todos van en el mismo orden, o sea, hay quienes se van quedando. O sea, la clase va avanzando uh -huh. los niveles, pero ellos no van en ese proceso, no van en ese nivel. Entonces, pero yo veo que usted y, y bon, sí. No sabía yo que eran compañeras, <ríe> pero creo que sí lo dijeron un día. Pero yo la veo bastante bien, y así como usted dice, que hoy como que quizás eh, ha entendido más. Y esa práctica que yo los pongo en la conversación bastantes veces, eh, es para que ustedes mejoren la fluidez. Y la pronunciación también, ¿verdad? Aunque la pronunciación, eh, si usted escuchó bien y lo pronunció bien, le, se lo va a hacer bien en la conversación. Porque si alguien, uh -huh. porque no sé si usted se ha fijado, pero digamos, alguien lo puede pronunciar mal en la práctica. Y no me importa cuántas veces yo la ponga a practicarlo, siempre lo va a pronunciar mal, porque esa, esa palabra no la puede pronunciar bien o no la escuchó bien. O sea, no es tanto esa práctica que hagan la conversación uh -huh. por la pronunciación, pero mejora, claro. Sino que es la fluidez. Eso es lo que yo trato de, de mejorarles la fluidez y, y que pierdan el miedo. 
de tanto que lo dicen que, y tanto que practican con compañeros que de repente ya no tienen miedo de hablar. ¿Verdad? Eso sí, es lo... eso es lo que a mí me pasaba, que yo era muy tímida para hablar. Pero, por ejemplo, ahorita todavía me cuesta un poquito hablar, pero sí trato de quitarme el miedo. Sí, no, tiene que ir... Eh... El miedo es, es lo que le, le perjudica a varios de no aprender el miedo. Y eso es todo en la vida, fíjese bien, todo en la vida es así. Si usted dice, ay, no, no voy a ir a pedir este favor porque tengo pena, usted no, nunca gana nada, porque ese, ese es un tema, fíjese, de que de la zona de confort. Usted sabe eso de la zona uh -huh. de confort. Usted está en la zona de confort, ahí usted no gana ni pierde. Está cómoda, sí. pero nunca gana. O sea, ahí no hay movimiento, no hay avance en la zona de confort. Solo si usted se atreve a moverse de esa zona de confort, entonces avanza. Y entonces si gana, puede hacer que pierda, ¿verdad? En algunas ocasiones, y le digo en general en la vida, va. Puede hacer que pierda, pero si la vida es de riesgos, y no se atreve, no, 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 no supera. O sea, tiene que aventarse, pierde ese miedo. Ok. Oh, Thank you, eso es lo que le puedo aconsejar. Bueno, Katy, fue un gusto tenerla en esos 10 minutos. <ríe> ok, vamos a dormir. Gracias, teacher. Buenas nice noches. Night.